Uh, in this video, I will tell you how to diagnose atrial fibrillation through ECG and I will also tell you how to manage atrial fibrillation uh, in emergency casualty when the patient comes to emergency casualty and when the patient comes in follow-up in OPD. So you can see this ECG. This is, uh, this is also AF irregular rhythm and the heart rate is greater than 100 per minute. So it is AF with RVR or FVR, rapid ventricular rate or fast ventricular rate. So now we come to management of AF with FVR in casualty emergency. How there can be two scenarios. Firstly, the patient whose vital is stable, SpO2 is normal, BP is normal, and the second scenario can be when the patient is hemodynamically unstable. It means the BP is very low, can be systolic 60, 40, 70, 40. In patients uh, who have normal BP and are stable, we give injection amidron 150 mg or 300 mg IV in 50 ml NS over 20 to 30 minutes. Injection Dilgem can also be given. During follow-up, the patients who come in OPD, we can give them tablet amidron 100, 200, Dilgem 30, 60, 90, or 20 mg, beta blockers like metoprolol 25 mg, 50 mg. And the dose of these tablets depend on the patient's heart rate and the vitals. The aim of therapy is to bring heart rate less than 100 per minute. So if, if the heart rate is less than 100 per minute, we call it CVR in controlled ventricular rate, AF with CVR. In hemodynamically unstable patients, we have to give DC cardioversion shock because the patient uh, BP is very less, patient is unstable, hemodynamic, so we have to give DC cardioversion shock. In this ECG is an example of A with CVR. Uh, in this case, heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute. In next video, I will tell you about the role of anticoagulants in AF and how to use it, its dose indications and the CHADS2 VAS score. Thanks for watching my video. If you like the video, kindly press like and subscribe. Press the bell icon. Thank you.